All right, we are back with more Dark Souls 3. I keep so you seen Dark Souls 2 Scarlet the first, yeah. All right, what do I want to level up? I've got two levels. I'll put strength and vigor. Did I just say strength and vigor? I mean, health and... Yeah, stamina. Um, we also have souls to use. Ooh, the Crystal Sage Soul. The twin Crystal Sages once served as spiritual guides to the scars of the Grand Archives, and one went on to ally, ally with the Undead Legion. So I wonder what we can get with that. I'm also hoping we don't have to fight a second one, because I'll cry. Uh, actually, it wasn't even that bad compared to like some of us. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, happened upon any twisted souls? I just am my own. Crystal Hill. Huh. And the Crystal Sage Rapier. Frosting sword with tiny crystals scattered across its blade, used by Crystal Sages for self defense. The crystal boosts. Crystals boost the magic damage inflicted by the sword in the name, discovery of its wheeler, fruits of a lifetime research conducted by sages. I'm wondering if I should have got a soul of a demon from. thingy. Oh well, that probably has. requires intelligence. Yep, 18. Wait, no, never mind, just dexterity. You know what, we'll trade for it. Now, now. Yes, don't be away over long. You want us to like? Do you have anything to say? You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher lad than I thought. Lad, you can make better use of this. Heavy jam, turn for. I don't need it. Not now. I've flown the coop. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, just bud. And then we'll go level up the sword one more time. Hey, you found ah, uh, Nothing particularly exciting. Oh, the sa Sage's Big Hat. Oh, is that how the Big, big Hat Logan? I should have seen the resemblance right there. Big Hat Logan. An always hat that completely obscures the face belonged to the twin gurus known as Crystal Sages. The pair are said to be successors to the great sage of Logan, and this big hat symbol is a symbol of their pedigree. There you go, Ashley. big hat Logan. Keep mentioning the fact there's two of them. Ah, so there's going to be no one. More like the gift core. Oh, my. This core is from the Undead Legion. Used to forge the weapons of Farron's Abyss Watchers. Right, keep on front. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Praise the gods, hey. Time to put this brawn to use. <laughs> he actually has a moving mouth that non barely other any NPCs do, which is cool. So can we not actually reinforce armor in this game? Large shiny shards. Infuse weapon. Sharp, refined, raw, fire, poison. Pretty me. So you can't actually upgrade armor, that's interesting. Unless there's a specific blacksmith for that. Huh. Bonfire level 2. Uh. We want to go to. Never mind. We want to go to the Cathedral of the Deep. I'm wondering if this is where we'll fight St. Aldridge of the Deep. But then, if he's one of the four uh, great souls of this game, then I'm wondering why there's such a specific pathway to the first one. Ah, no. Maybe it's more. I don't know if it's more like Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 2 when there's like a bunch of bosses, then you like find the four old ones. Or Dark Souls 2, where it's like, there's the four old ones, and then after that, there's the rest of the game. I don't know. Anyway, it's a secret pathway there. That's the row of sacrifices. And then, oh, I was hoping it was just a like, key transition. Oh, there's a guy down there. 
Be wary of tough enemy. I'll be fine. Every enemy in this area is going to be a tough enemy because these are what they. Oh, tough like that. It's fine, I've got plus three weapons. And more stamina than I probably should have at this point. <laughs> yeah, not a single hit on yet, anyways. Tough enemy. Ha! Ah. Nothing. Bet we got him something decent. Paladin's Ashes. I'm guessing that's another thing to give to... What's her name? Yep. Umbral Asher of a worn out paladin who sought the Cathedral of the Deep with this, the Shrine Hand Maiden will prevent your arms. This paladin quite, yeah, paid quite a price for his headstrong justice. Oh. Huh. So yeah, we can give that to the thingy for more items. Where was it that red bloody secret secret pathway ahead? There it is. I swear to God, it's not actually a secret pathway. No, oh no, looks like it does go somewhere. Be cool if this side of a whole different area. Nope, just an item. Crash shield. Oh god. Fucking break it. These are like all human enemies, so I'm getting like a covenant like vibe coming from this area. Also, I like how they've not changed the like the brigand design at all. Same axe, same shield, same armor, spider shield. Don't read a lot. Shield bearing a large etching of a spider. Shields of this style are commonly used by savage mountain bandits and offer high resistance to poison. Keep that in mind. What is going on in here? There's an enemy up there. There's a thing there. There's a guy up there. There's a dog there. Never mind, that's a dog. Try left. Was it like a giant boulder I just missed? That's what it sounded like. Try left. Oh, right. Yeah, like completely. That's pretty cool. The entire left pathway just de it defends you from like everything. I can really appreciate that sort of level thing. That is from at their tip top the top. This is from making games they enjoy, not 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 Dark Souls 2. This is the true sequel to Dark Souls 1. Of course it's got a shit of Dark Souls 2 in it, but Dark Souls 2 just wasn't the same. Jesus Christ, I'm going to die. At least get myself like full health. These bow and arrow guys don't actually fuck around. Large soul of an unknown traveller. Nothing of note over there. I'm wondering if we'll go all this way. It's like probably climbing the mountain and see the sun saying it's like now you can go the four different directions. Cause I thought this would be the route of Ron, just from like all the hints it's being given up, but then it's called also called the Cathedral of the Deep. So I'm really not sure what to be expecting. Oh, so this enemy's totally going to transform it into an up. Was not expecting that. <laughs> of all the things that could have happened there, I was fully expecting him to transform into some sort of horrifying beast. 
They're play playing to an obelisk, that's really weird. Well, not weird, we see him. Try hitting them in one swoop. Ooh, an Estus shot. Very nice, very nice. So there's a up here, which I don't know where it leads. It leads to an open gate. Fuck, this feels like... First thing cling is these don't these don't ever stop spawning. Yeah, that's what it's starting to look like, so I'm just gonna run through this area. So many branching pathways already. I'm, like I love it because more content, but at the same time, I need to like explore one area fully. Ooh, a store a great sword. Alright, so this wraps around up here. I wish they would all stop for Do they even attack away? No, I don't even think they attack away. Oh well. They just sort of mope about. Right, the frame skipping is starting to get a bit annoying now. This game loves its fucking graveyards, like. Fading Soul Times 1. Executioner's Great Sword, oh hello. Yeah, you guys look like your attack was. Holy fucking shit. Oh god, what? What? It's like a guy made out of maggots. What? Oh, that's weird. What the shit? What the... Dark Souls, why? What? Who the what the why the... Oh, tell us they're all gonna attack one. Oh fuck, they're all... Like Super Saiyan, angry now. The game keeps stuttering because there's so many of these fuckers about the place. What does that sign say? Praise the sun. What the sh- oh no, no. So everything in this area just respawns, so there's not even any point in killing them. Hello. You look like you're already a hurt me. Oh great, you've got scimitars. Then you're definitely going to... There's another giant? Tell me there's another giant. 